Welcome to the Rotowire YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about all things free agency, kind of previewing tomorrow. Uh, and then actually tomorrow we will have these videos coming for you throughout the day where I'll dive in and, and take a fantasy look at some of the latest news when uh, we have some player signings to talk about, kind of break it down for you in terms of who's going where, why, how this is going to affect their fantasy value. Uh, talking about tomorrow's big day, I mean, NHL free agency is normally uh, pretty hot and heavy on, on day one. Um, but of course, this year we're dealing with all kinds of question marks with the flat cap at 81 and a half mil. So it'll be interesting to see if we have the same level of movement, if we get big contracts out there. Obviously, uh, you know, we're talking a huge goaltending market right now. I mean, there are names that we probably never would have thought we'd see on the open market here. You've got Henrik Lundqvist available, Corey Crawford, uh, you know, just a, a ton of guys. Braden Holpe is another. Just a ton of guys available uh, as UFAs. You know, we've got uh, – there's talks of trades, too, that are going down. Matt Murray was traded uh, just yesterday. Uh, Darcy Kemper's name has come up as a possible trade chip uh, for, for Arizona there. And so, really – a lot of moving parts with the goaltenders. So we could either see a run on them tomorrow, you know, maybe one dominant uh, domino falls and everybody kind of follows. Uh, for example, with, with Hopi, there's talk that he's going to sign a one-year deal uh, to go to the Rangers and be the backup uh, veteran option there after they let Lundqvist go. I think obviously Lundqvist being let go is more of a, a cap hit thing. You know, Mark andre Fleury's name has been circulating around. They're not going to buy out his contract. Um, but they're still going to try and move him. Maybe see if somebody will take on at least half of his $7 million cap hit. So really a ton of moving parts on the goaltending. On the blue line, uh, there's a number of guys there as well. You've got uh, Petrangelo from St. Louis. You've got Tory Krug from Boston, Tyson Berry from the Maple Leafs. Those are just three of kind of the big names out there. You know, you could also look at, at Kevin Chattenkirk. Obviously, Petrangelo is going to be the big piece where he lands, you know, does he go to Boston? Uh, certainly rumblings there. Matt Niskanen retired for the, uh, the Flyers, so they could be a player uh, for Petrangelo as well. So really a lot of question marks there, and we haven't even talked yet about the forwards. Uh, you know, one team that's going to be potentially losing two big guys is the, the Florida Panthers. You've got both Mike Hoffman and Evgeny Dadunov are going to be allowed to hit free agency with their new uh, GM running the show there. And then, you know, obviously, uh, Taylor Hall is the big name that's been out there. I think at this point, it's pretty clear he's not going to be back in Arizona. I just don't know how the numbers work for them uh, in that situation. Again, maybe if they move Darcy Kemper, they could be a player there. Does he get a one-year deal to wait until maybe revenues go up? Uh, or does he try and sign that long seven, you know, long-term seven-year deal? Tyler Toffoli for Vancouver is another name. So there's going to be a lot of action moving. Uh, we're going to bring you videos like this throughout Friday and Saturday just to give you that quick hit breakdown. You know, we'll, we'll bunch a couple guys together uh, and talk about what their fantasy value might look like with new clubs, who should be uh, affected by that. You know, uh, for example, uh, Jesse Pugliarby signed with Edmonton, re-signed with Edmonton yesterday. You know, I think he could be a candidate to be on the first line with Connor McDavid. So for your fantasy league, certainly a player that you're going to want to look at early uh, earlier in your draft than you might otherwise ha have considered. So that's kind of what we'll bring to you tomorrow. This is kind of just a preview video, uh, uh, let you know what's coming and look out for those throughout the day uh, tomorrow and Saturday.